Okay, we're going to cover tricep um, press downs. We're using tubes attached to a door strap with the door locked and closed. Ideally, the door would close in and not open in, but we've got it locked. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and secure one end underneath the door handle so I can demonstrate with one hand to start. We've got one foot in front of the other so that we've got a good stable base. Our stomach is nice and um, sturdy, strong, filled with some air to support our back. We've got no pressure on our lower back. We're not leaning back. We've got a slight forward lean, engaged abs. We're going to keep our chin back. And then we're going to picture a rod going through our tricep down to our side. So we're going to come full range of motion is how much range can you start without the load? And that's what you want to master when we're doing the full load. So we're isolating the tricep muscle here as we're pressing down. We're going to stay right here like this. Starting here, I'm pulling down. Just like this, slow on the way up, slow on the way down. Now I'm holding it so that it's like a hammer. When we hold it where we're like this, the problem is, is that we put a lot of tension in our wrist, a lot of tension in our elbow before we isolate that tricep. So it's better to be kind of like this straight down karate chop motion and we just hold on to the tube and we press down just like that to get the tricep. So if I take both tubes, make sure there's equal tension, pick an appropriate color that's got enough tension to give you a, a good workout. You press down and back up nice and slow. The speed is one, two, three, and one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. If I'm looking forward like this, my head is back, I'm neutral, slight lean in my upper body, engaging my abs. I'm gonna to try to get 12 to 15 reps in a range of motion that I can handle without any load. And that's how we wanna maintain form. If we get to six, eight, nine, 10, and we're fatiguing, then we stop there and we load on a couple more sets. When we get to the point that we can do comfortably with good form sets of 15, then we increase the load and we start doing sets of six to 10. And then when we can do 12 to 15, we move up. Depending upon what phase of strength training you're in, whether you're doing more strength, sets of six to 10 or more, of an endurance 12 to 15 just like this nice and slow